also a 3DS cartridge I ordered from off of Amazon from an outfit called Car Picks with a K. Just came in. I paid twenty dollars for this thing, and it's supposedly preloaded with just like a shit ton of DS and other retro games. And frankly, I don't know how they can legally get away with selling this on Amazon because I thought that kind of thing where you uh, had preloaded ROMs on anything that weren't officially sanctioned was illegal but i guess there must be some sort of gray area there because amazon's doing it anyway i'm going to open this up and uh, test it out and tell you what i think as expected i figured it was going to be a micro sd adapter and it is and they have a little bit of tape over there i don't know if that's just to keep the card from falling out which i expect uh, but i don't imagine that it's like necessary for functionality or it's going to impede it in any way so here we go all right, this lists as Deep Labyrinth Atlas USA Incorporated. Let's launch it. Comes up as Ace 3DS Plus. All kinds of Pokemon games. You have to forgive my kids are kind of going wild in the background. I mean, a bunch of them. Kirby, Harvest Moon, Rune Factory, Castlevania, Dragon Quest. Golden Sun, I mean, just all kinds of games. I'm going to go back and see if there's a way to choose a different layout. So give me just a moment. If there's a way to make it happen, I don't know, but I'm going to try gameplay-wise. Let's uh, do Metroid Prime Hunters for DS. And press A. Seems to be loading. I apologize that uh, my video production quality is non existent, but I am a middle aged dad with two kids and not much time on my hands to dedicate to learning the finer points of video editing. But so far, at least on its face, this seems to work. And if all these games work, looks like there's a couple hundred of them at least. For $19.99, that's a pretty damn good deal to get while you can still get it because I don't see how something like this stays on Amazon for too long. Well, the Metroid game worked really well, so I loaded up Zelda Phantom Hourglass. And, like, all the functionality that's supposed to be there is there. I mean, it plays just like uh, you were playing the uh, actual cartridge. I am I'm really, really impressed. Uh, I think if you don't want to fool with modding your 2DS or 3DS device, I'm playing on a new 2DS XL. Uh, this Joker, frankly, cost me $225 because I bought it a little over a year ago. Uh, the seller on Mercari was really cool, though, and this was, like, in a fantastic condition. So I guess I can't complain too much. Uh, but now I've learned you can buy a Japanese model for far less and mod it to where you can play uh, other... Or you where you can basically make it region-free. I'm... You know, if you don't have the money to spend on all these games and... You're not opposed to, uh, uh, how should I say this, uh, stepping foot into a gray area as far as legality goes, buying one of these off of Amazon, I, I would highly recommend it. Okay, I'm chilling in bed now, hours after I made the first part of the video, and I've had a chance to play a lot of the games on this $20 ROM cart that I got off of Amazon. Every game works flawlessly. As a collector, you know, obviously I would like to have a lot of these games in their physical form, sitting on a shelf. But as someone that isn't rolling in money, 
and really wants to play a lot of these titles. Shit, man, I can't really complain about the price. Um, again, not sure how they're getting away with it here in the States, but uh, especially being listed on Amazon, but they are, and I would recommend it. Uh, go get you one. If you have a, a DS model of any kind, I think it'd be a good investment, especially if, again, like me, you don't really want to... Uh, mess with modding your system I, and I've had a bunch of people on Facebook tell me how easy it is and I'm sure it is I've modded other systems before but this I just I don't know I think it's because I spent so much money on the handheld I just don't want to take any risks you know